All right, so it's uh, yeah, I'll just put that there. So it's been um, uh, a month or so since I've really put out a video, and I guess the the reason behind it is ever since we uh, we moved into the new shop, it's just there's just been no time. Um, and some days I've been uh, doing the Saturday shift, so the only one day off on a Sunday, I don't really feel like doing a whole lot. Um, but I have, I've got servos and all that stuff. They're actually, I'm pretty sure they are the, they're the 15 kilo servos that I ordered a while back. There's two of those. Uh, still waiting on my battery packs. Uh, that's probably been about two months since I've been waiting for them. So I'll just probably have to email the uh, the seller. Hopefully, maybe they can resend it out. Or if the worst comes to worst, I'll just purchase uh, two new ones. Um, I only need one, but just as a backup. And uh, yeah, a bunch of 3D printed items. Uh, I end up ordering another one of these little universal joints. They're pretty pretty handy to have, and they're like basically cheap as although I did make myself a 3d print myself a fairly heavy duty one um, which probably would have worked um, I still may use that just for kicks and if it breaks well how oh well it breaks I'll just uh, use a metal one after that um, the 3d printed kind of rudder support uh, I don't like how long it is so I'm gonna probably remodel that and reprint that uh, these are the bearing holders, they are fine. I've actually got some uh, replacement bearings for it. But um, yeah, just been kind of buying, not a whole lot, but just, you know, if I come across a good deal, I've got some, a ton of stainless um, M2, and then I've got uh, M3, and then I've got stainless M3 washers and spring washers. But, um, Actually, there, there we go. There's the there's the stainless here. It's all stainless hard. That's M3. But um, yeah, the garage was quite a mess for a, quite a long time. You can see just the old uh, pizza signs, which I've actually got the the pizza machine in the back of my uh, car, which probably should be taken out sometime, but have to get round to it. And here is the boat. Well, the middle section of it, you can see it's, I've uh, sanded that down. Um, haven't done a whole lot uh, since the last video, but I figured I'd come and do a massive update for everyone. Um, yeah, and the good thing about uh, me buying everything when I bought the stuff for the boat, uh, just like uh, all the, the fiberglass material, the fiberglass material actually went up quite a bit in price. I got mine at a steal, and then when I went to look at it again, it was actually quite expensive, which I wasn't going to pay the price they were asking, so I'm pretty thankful that I got uh, two massive sheets and the roll of fiberglass. Um, picked up a bunch of paint brushes as well, just, uh, just some cheap paint brushes because you never know when you're going to need a small paint brush just to uh, get into any nooks and crannies. Uh, and obviously, as you can see, it's been piled up on the toolbox. Uh, pipe thread. Uh, I, gave, I had five rolls. I gave uh, two away to my dad since he's uh, replacing some taps. Now, the 3D printer. The 3D printer cabinet is still 100% in working order. Uh, the light still works on it. You just plug it into the wall and then, you know, plug it into here and then flip the switch. But, um, yeah, anyway, so... I've actually got, this is an old range hood with a, you know, a bunch of lights and a fan on the bottom of it. But uh, it actually come with uh, some nice ducted material here and uh, well, if we can get it out, yep, and there's a nice little vent cover. So that's all good stuff for the 3D printer cabinet. But um... Yeah, so this is probably going to be a, a fairly long update, maybe five or six minutes. But there hasn't been much progress just because um, of the shop and all that stuff. You can see there's the another commercial coffee machine that's 
it's just the spare um yeah the all the signs and uh uh some old shop chairs and a massive like slow cooker uh more sign stuff so um yeah so it's an update on life i guess the channel's you know not dead it's just gonna probably take some uh time to adjust to uh going back to work full time and um but um, I'm very much still into the RC boat. I'm just uh, a bit disappointed that some parts haven't arrived. But I'm also pretty happy that my universal joint arrived, my second one, because then I can kind of uh, piece it together. And there's one of the props which I actually epoxy coated. But um, yeah, I hope everyone gets some sort of a knowledge out of this. Um, all those little uh, like circlips. But um, eBay, eBay's a wonderful place for just parts because you go somewhere like a hardware shop or whatever you want to call it anywhere in the world and sometimes they just don't have these parts that you can get in a bulk lot for sale. And if they do, you're paying a small fortune for a tiny little part which you can go on eBay and get for basically next to nothing. So make sure I push all that in. I don't want any dust or debris getting on any of that stuff. But... um. Yeah, I hope everyone's um, had a, a good uh, good uh, look at the video, and I hope to uh, feel, or I shouldn't say feel, I should say hear some comments back from everyone. Um, I hope everyone's still looking forward to the RC boat build and, and the channel, and if everyone is still watching, then I thank you, and I will see everyone in the next video.